Not only wasn't there a 4th of July air show last year, but this year's crowds will be the first in the Puget Sound to get a look at the Air Force's newest stealth fighter jet. Pilots say this year's show will be special for lots of reasons. This one is a way to kind of show the public that we're here, we're operating, we're present, we're back at it. Flying the C-17 will be a homecoming for Major Courtney oh. Voodoo Vitt. I have friends in Gig Harbor, I have friends in Tacoma, I live in Tacoma, so to be able to fly over my house and to have some of my best friends come out and hang out on their paddle board in the middle of the sound and watch us fly, is, it's really cool. <laughs> She's got a little extra in the tank for their 20 scheduled shows this year. Thanks to COVID, they only performed twice last year. To not be able to go out and interact with the public, it just it wasn't fun. Air show fans in Tacoma and Gig Harbor can expect a little more this weekend. Our high speed pass, which people will see during the show, will actually go about close to 7 to 20 miles an hour. The F-35 Lightning II. It's the Air Force's most advanced, uh, dare I say the world's most advanced stealth fighter jet. These flight crews have missed having people to fly for. Yes, Tacoma, go Tacoma 253 forever. We're looking at the crowd the entire time. We're seeing how many people are out there, what the crowd looks like, and it gets us really hyped up when we see a lot of people out there too. On a weekend to celebrate independence, the folks who make these planes fly hope to make up for some of what was missed last year. To bring a little bit of hope to everyone that, hey, the world is coming back together. We are pushing forward and we are here. If you'd like to see these planes actually in the air this weekend, we have all the information on our website. Text the word show to 206-448-4545. At Joint Base Lewis McCord, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.